you're looking for a video on how you can properly uninstall your graphics cards driver well this video is for you but first i want to talk about who this video is beneficial for of course i already talked about you know you wanting to uninstall your graphics cards driver properly but you know we have some use cases for this in a proper way so the first things first is of course if you like to tinker around you're changing drivers you're you know you're doing a lot of stuff with your pc and your graphics cards driver is one of your target and then you messed up with the driver and now some things aren't working properly as intended and you just want to try to reinstall your driver but when you reinstall your driver everything is still the same like you know some stuff is still not working that's where this video comes in because we're cleaning up everything from your previews um graphics driver the second thing is if you're switching graphics cards you have a lot of money you heard it 5090 you're switching from amd back to nvidia or whatsoever that's just an example but yeah if you like to switch graphics cards it doesn't matter if it's from the same brand or switching other brands i always do suggest to fully properly uninstall your driver from your machine so let me hop onto my desktop and show you exactly how to do it oh and yeah by the way before you do anything in this video make sure that you have your you know your new drivers that you're about to install ready because why not right anyway for me because i'm using an amd graphics card all i got to do is head over to this website amd.com and support slash download drivers and i can just go ahead and find the driver that i want so just take note of that anyway let's go back so the first thing that we're gonna do is of course download the program that we're gonna use to properly uninstall your drivers yes you're not gonna use your existing drivers driver uninstaller we're gonna be using what we call the ddu or the display driver uninstaller so basically the official version is from guru3d.com so just head over to the link on the description below once you head over there you want to go ahead and click on download mirror eu or download mirror usa whichever one you want to press just press on it it's going to load up and uh, it should start to download very fast um, now you're going to be receiving this thing and when you click on it you're going to be seeing that the duexe and then this other folder you don't want to care about that but what you want to do instead is extract this now of course i extracted everything on the desktop but yeah i'm just going to go ahead and delete the guru.com and the downloaded notepad now i'm going to go ahead and double click on the ddu press extract and you're going to be receiving this file right here and on this folder is the real display driver and installer that we're going to be using in a bit so now that you have both of the files what i want you to do is go and press on your windows key while holding shift press on the power button and then restart now your pc will restart and this is going to pop up so troubleshoot advanced options and now i want you to head over to the startup settings from the startup settings just press on restart your pc will restart once again and then this thing would pop up the startup settings from here i want you to press on four enable safe mode yes we are just trying to boot to safe mode now when you are booted up back on your desktop of course on safe mode probably one monitor is working uh just don't don't mind it if this is your first time going in here then that's a no problem i want to open up the display driver uninstaller and upon opening you can head over and select um select device type go to gpu and usually it will auto select your graphics card's main thing now you can head over to the option settings and you can just copy my settings here and this is my usual settings wherein i try to prevent windows from automatically installing the optimal driver for my graphics card because i usually try to install the studio slash pro version of the drivers instead of the gaming ones or the usual ones that's why i always prevent windows now that you are done with that we are now ready to click on clean and restart now we just have to let this whole thing happen oh and just a note if you're changing graphics cards make sure to do clean and shut down so your pc would not restart back up you can change the graphics card and then boot in back to windows we're going to boot back up to our pc and of course i'm going to go ahead and install the driver of my choice as soon as my pc starts that's just how i like to do it and then i'm just going to wait for this to happen and uh, that is pretty much how you can uninstall your graphics cards driver the easiest and the fastest way possible and hopefully this video did help you some people are scared of dd for some random reasons so and a lot of my friends are asking me of how to properly uninstall drivers how to use ddu and whatsoever so i can just send them this video anyway thanks so much guys for watching i'll see you guys next video have a nice day